le plus me manquer. Bonjour tout le monde, euh, je vais parler en français pour cette vidéo, mais vraiment. <laughs> nah, sorry, I don't feel like it. Um, I was gonna talk in French, but I'm feeling lazy. Maybe I shouldn't be lazy and practice my French, but. Um, yeah. So today I'll be talking about Paris, tips, advice, and all that good stuff, but um, I must put a disclaimer out there. I actually did not enjoy Paris as much as I had expected to, and I feel like that was solely based on the weather. Um, it was like terrible when I went. It was freezing, it was raining, it was snowing. It was just a mess, and like I couldn't really get to enjoy myself, but I was really happy though because I got to see my friend who was also studying abroad at that time. Shout out to Ryan, yes. And uh, so that was really cool that Ryan and I were studying abroad in France at the same time, and he was actually in Paris. So that was lit. <laughs> I could give a story time about how I got to Paris in the first place. It was a mess, but I'm not gonna take y'all through that because the last video I didn't want it to be, I didn't want my videos to be too long. And I realized when I gave tips in the last video, it was like really, really long. So I'm not gonna go to that, but <laughs> let me just tell you, it was a struggle. Like me not really knowing French at all all because this was like when i this was like a month into getting into france and long story short i waited for the train for three hours and then the train got canceled and then i had to take a bus and i didn't know where i was going and then i got i had to stay in a hotel and then i finally <laughs> Yeah, it was just, it was a mess. But I got to Paris, even though I lost a day, it was okay. Um, and yeah, I'll head into transportation then. Transportation in Paris is simple. I feel just like London. But 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 you better pay attention to the exits on um, Google Maps directions because the thing with Paris at the thing with Paris, the metro stations, they'll probably have like. 10 different exits and you know kind of a distance from each other so if you don't listen to your directions and get out your right um exit you're gonna be walking for a minute so make sure you pay attention to the exit that you have to get out of and actually like get out the right exit please 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 avoid rush hour because <laughs> It's not fun. So like 8 to 10 and then 17 to 20. What's it? 5 to 8 p.m. Just avoid it. <laughs> don't do it to yourself. When you're ready to buy um, tickets, don't just buy like one one. Um, if you are only there for a really short time, then okay. But if you're trying to buy 10 tickets or more, buy the 10 tickets because you're actually saving 27%. So do that. Don't just buy like one 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 tickets and save your coins. So I didn't really know the stereotype too much when I got to Europe, but like especially Italy, they're known for pickpocketers, but I guess the same goes for Paris. So just keep your purse a little closer and you know, just just be just be aware, be cautious, be vigilant. Um, don't have your things laying around, so don't get pickpocketed. Um, and then lastly for transportation, I'll say the plug was that bus to the airport. I mean, some people could afford Uber to the airport or whatever, taxi, whatever. But if you got to take like public transportation to the airport and stuff, there's a direct bus that goes to the airport and that was really, really, really convenient. So I do advise you do that. Um, that's what I did. It was simple and yeah. Now, let's head on over to food. Um, I was pretty excited to eat in Paris because where I was staying in school, let me tell you, the food was not good. And then if you did want good food, um, we lived right next to Geneva, so you had to pay a pretty penny to eat good. And I just wasn't really able to do that. So going to Paris, I was really excited for the food. What I did not know is in Paris, like, there's so many, um, spe there's, like, specific hours for the restaurants. So, typically, watch, I'm gonna get this wrong. <laughs> let me, let me not go into the hours that are typical. 
But basically, when you want to go to a specific restaurant, pay attention to their opening hours because in Paris, they have tradition a tradition to like close for a certain time for lunch and like have like different breaks. So just pay attention to that because when I wanted to go to a restaurant for lunch, they were closed for lunch and I was just like... So, yeah. Alright, so I didn't know this, but you're not really supposed to tip people in France in general. Um, yeah, in France in general. Yeah, 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 because yeah. even in my area. Um, and I guess it's because their tip is already included in the bill, so they kind of feel like slightly, well this is what I heard, it's slightly disrespectful to offer a tip because it's just like, oh, so you don't think I'm making up money type of thing. So yeah, um, don't feel bad that you're not giving a tip, and yeah, it's already included. It's known that French people, especially Pari no, it's known that, it's known that Parisians are a little bitter, apprehensive, probably mean, especially to American tourists. So to combat that, I say always, always, always start off with whatever you're trying to say or going to struggle to say. Start start with bonjour. So they like know that you're trying, you're making an effort, and a lot of times they're more receptive to when you're trying to speak French, and they will like work with you. It happened to me a ton of times because again I didn't know, I really didn't know um, French at all when I was there. So like I started with bonjour, and then like they realized I was struggling, <laughs> so they just continued in English. But I did not realize that there's so many. Um, people in Paris that speak English because where I'm stay where I was staying in France, uh, a lot of people did not know English. So <clears throat> it was cool that in Paris, like basically everyone also knows English, and that was convenient. Maybe not for my purposes because I'm supposed to be practicing French, but it was good to know that like I could still fall back and they know English. And another place that was surprising was when I went to church in Paris. Um, they were actually they actually had an English translator like for the entire series. Ooh, wait. no, I'm lying. They actually spoke in English. Yeah, the sermon was in English because it was like an international church, I believe. And the craziest part was that there was like a lot of Jamaicans, and I was just like, what? Like, so that was really cool to see because I didn't know so many Jamaicans were in Paris and that church was speaking English and it was like Caribbean people and I was like, wow. So that was cool. Oh, back to the restaurants. Um, when you go to a restaurant, don't ask for a to-go box because they're going to be like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I just told you that they don't do to-go boxes in France, like, the entire France. They don't know about to-go boxes, take-away, take-out, whatever. Um, yeah, obviously in a take-out restaurant, but, like, not in a sit-down restaurant. Don't do that. They're going to look at you like you're crazy. And for, like, museums, um, there's a certain emblem on all the museums that are free, so... If you, I believe it's like a French flag or something like that. I don't remember now. But if you see that emblem on a museum, you already know it's free. I feel like in Europe in general, most of their museums are free or like a small cost. So take advantage of that because some of the museums are actually pretty dope. So let's get into food. I really love the food in Paris. Um, I feel like they put an extra effort into cooking their food. And, um... Well, I'm comparing it to where I was staying. Um, I think I had the best steak in my life there in Paris at Felicie Eco. Um, I think so. It's hard to say because I have really, really good steak at this restaurant in New York, so I don't know. But yeah, the really good steak there. And I went to Le Tisic in. Uh, what was the other one called? Chez Galine. Um, that was good too. Yeah. Chez Galdine was good and there was a lot of like different types of restaurants from different countries so that was also really cool. You always have a choice for whatever you want to eat. And what I do like is that the corner store joints, like the fried chicken joints, um, I like, I prefer eating at the ones in France because 
the meat just tastes healthier in America you really do taste a difference so um I feel comfortable eating at those fried chicken places so I guess you could also do that when you're in why do I have this when you're in France or Paris specifically and you know visit the two places Apple Tower Arc de Triomphe um Louvre yeah you've seen the vlog but also I suggest going to the African market I was able to go because I missed the day but uh please 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 go in and then tell me how it was you know so yeah that's it let's get into the vlog you already know <laughs> So don't feel this pairs if you feel that you have some need that you need divine help. This is normal and this is how we should feel.
Give my name. Give my name. 